สวัสดีครับ Can we have a drink on the river? Or is this your house? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just walking into your. You have a beautiful house. A good afternoon. We are here in Chamtaburi, and this is uh, not that far from Kochang because we are with the car traveling from Kochang back to Bangkok. I thought let's go and have a look here, and I just read up a little bit on the history of Chamtaburi. It's quite interesting. There is a big community of Vietnamese that came here, so there is a lot of Vietnamese uh, influences. And they also brought the Catholicism with them. And the biggest Catholic cathedral in Thailand is here, in Chantaburi. The cathedral was built in 1909. And there's actually, if you look at the city here, there is a lot of influences from different cultures. There is Chinese, there is French, Vietnamese, and Thai. This is a very nice traditional town and. One of the main attractions in this city as well is a, a gem center, which we're going to visit a little bit later. So it is hot. So maybe some of my Thai followers, I know that there is a, even Chantaburi followers, can explain me a little bit more about the styles of these houses. We're having some very nice blue skies in the background now, so that makes me happy. And this is the river here. So it's Sunday afternoon, a quarter past one. So what is up? And there you have the cathedral. So let's cross the the river here. Again, you all have to excuse me that I don't know the exact names. This is uh, this is not my territory. So this cathedral is called the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. I just noticed that there's another church there as well. So Chantaburi has about 30,000 inhabitants. Again, this is all from Wikipedia. So if you're saying that it's bigger, let me know. <laughs> but it is actually quite funny because this does have a very similar feeling to the cathedrals that I've seen both in Saigon and uh, in Hanoi. We're still in COVID times, guys, so we still have to wear the mask. So let's go on the square. So I know there was an occupation for around 11 years that the French were here in Chantaburi and in uh, this area of Thailand because there was a conflict between the French and Thai, or Siam. And in 1893, for 11 years the French were here, so I'm not sure if they are the ones that started building this church because in uh, 1909 the church was finished. Hello! So I just met a very nice YouTuber from China. Yes. <laughs> and our, uh, actually, I will, uh, I'm made from Thailand. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've never been to China. Okay, but what is your name of your channel? 12. 12 max. 12 max? Yes, but the 12 is Chinese. It's okay. Sure. Oh. okay. Maybe okay. you don't understand. No, but maybe some of my followers can and then they can explain me. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> so I hope you get a lot of... Uh, uh, I, <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, nice to meet you. So they just explained me that this church took about 80 years to build. So you said from 1824 yeah, until yeah, yeah. 1909, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So you see, I don't have to have my followers. I have my friend Max. Oh, <laughs> no, no, okay, no. thank you. Okay, bye bye. bye.
So it's nice to, to get the information on the road like this. So it's definitely not built by the French. And the uh, background is that this is built by the Vietnamese community that uh, moved into this area. And uh, as I mentioned before, this is the biggest cathedral in Thailand. So let me go and uh, bring you in the direction of the gems market. So we're heading back now towards the gems market. So this street is called the Trok Kachang. This leads to the Sri Chang Road, where all the gem dealers are. A lot of people come here to buy stones from all the areas here, so not only from Thailand, but also from Burma. So, uh, yeah, I will show you. There's a lot of international buyers and a lot of people on the street and they have raw materials. It's very, uh, very interesting. And Mirella wanted to go and have a look, see if she can find something. interesting these ladies here for example they have a whole bunch of so these are raw, raw stones, stones right uh, yeah so they have you want to have a look yeah go and check huh Look at all this one. Nice. 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 N
it would be very nice if you would uh, visit my province and my city as well so here we are i'm always happy to discover something new and i see in this park as in all the parks in thailand you have a nice running track this is quite big as well so i can imagine that here in the evening a lot of people were doing their exercises and there is a statue in the middle of the park so i'm taking an educated guess and i would say this is probably a statue of king taxin the great we are really lucky to have awesome weather here and here we are at the chantaburi city pillar shrine every city in uh, in thailand has a city pillar shrine this is next to the Taxin camp and this is a, a military camp and you can see there is a few old cannons here there as well I read something that there is a French cannon in here but I'm not sure which one is that So this is a monument in the form of the head of the King Taxin the Great. In 1767, the town of Ayutthaya, which was the capital of the Siam Kingdom, of the Ayutthaya Kingdom, fell to the Burmese. And then King Taxin the Great came in this area to recruit new soldiers to, uh, to liberate Thailand again. And that's why they are still commemorating it and I guess these are these French cannons that they were talking about we'll have a quick look inside This is a part of the old town and this is very traditional Chinese style I would say. <laughs> Sorry. like a guest house, the Ban Luang Rajamaitri Historic Inn. nice Chinese temple this 
So this city has a lot of different influences and different styles. So it's a mix of Thai, Chinese, French and Vietnamese. And here on yeah, these shop houses on the river, there's a few little restaurants and bars where you can, uh, can get a coffee or eat something. So I think we are going to try out one and see how the view is on the river. What about this one? Saudi Kaap. Can we have a drink on the river? Or is this your house? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just walking into your... You have a beautiful house. <laughs> but you have a shop also or...? Before COVID, we sell something in front of our house. Ah, okay. But now, because of the COVID... Nothing, yeah. It's very quiet. But you stay here? No, no, we are on the way from Koh Chang back to Bangkok and I'm just, uh, we just make a stop, so... Uh... You can have a seat, no problem. Can I have a look? Yeah. Just a look. Okay, okay, I will tell my wife. Sorry, what is your name? Nikki. Nikki, my, my name is Jalan. Jalan. <laughs> yes. Where you come from? I'm, I'm from Netherlands and she's from Romania. I see. <laughs> Oh, this is very oh, beautiful. Nice view. Long time, I have no, <laughs> no customers. <laughs> but it's a guest house, eh? Or... No, no, just my house. Really? Yeah. Oh, you have a lovely house then. <laughs> Kuniki is amazing. <laughs> no, but then I will close down the, the, the video. So here we have a nice view of the river. And here across the river, there's a temple as well. So Kun Nikki that we just saw in her house, she just explained that this is the old Chinese quarter. So you could uh, almost say this is like a Chinatown. And there in the back, you have the cathedral and that's the old Vietnamese quarter. And these old buildings that you have now here so these houses this is a mix of Chinese with Vietnamese and uh, it's uh, it's something different it's very nice we we I am actually very surprised by Chantaburi I'm very happy that we uh, made a stop here and I hope you guys enjoyed this update as well if you did feel free to subscribe drop me a line and see you guys in my next uh, video uh...